Hey, it's Charlotte Mabry with Keller Williams, and what is that five-year home sale rule? Hey, it's Charlotte Mabry again. Thanks for watching our video blog today. And there's this crazy thing called the five-year home sale rule. What is that? And should you care about that? You know, we've got so much information here on our video blog. Just look around, make yourself at home. There are lots of buttons to click on where you can get additional information. So you've been thinking about selling your home, but you know, you've heard of that five-year home sale rule. What is that? And it, it's a great rule of thumb that has to do with whether or not you really should purchase a home in the first place. You know, when you buy a home, you probably should target at least being able to stay there roughly five years. It takes that long to recoup the expenses that you have spent to purchase your home in the first place. And it takes that long for appreciation to catch up with you so that you can cover those expenses and at least break even. Sometimes people buy a home and they only stay 18 months or two years, and that's all great, but it's actually cost them money to stay in that new, that new home because they didn't stay long enough to let all of that catch up. So closing costs when you buy the home, you had to spend money even if you didn't spend those and the seller paid that for you you probably paid extra for the house so the seller would pay those closing costs and so you've got money tied up in those closing costs and it takes a while for appreciation to catch up on that and you know most of our appreciation rates right now are three to five percent a year so if you spent you know 10 or 15 percent down on a property and and you've got some closing costs involved in that it's going to take you probably three to five years for the time to pass by so that your appreciation is caught up and covers all that and when you're looking at selling guess what you got cost on the end of selling as well so it's going to take some time to save you up a little money where you've got that pocketed and you have that extra money as well so to my world the five-year home sale rule really is something to think about you should be in your home roughly five years before you think about selling it again so that you've made the money to help pay for all of that now if you're listening to me today and you've been in your home seven years, eight years, 10 years, that's the sweet spot when it's time to sell that you've made some money, you've covered your tracks, and guess what? You've even got a little extra equity now, and now's a great time, particularly in today's market, to pull out that equity and move on. So if you're thinking of selling, we'd love to do some market analysis for you, give you the update on what the market's like right now. Send me an email, Charlotte, at charlottemabryteam.com and I will be glad to get you the update on your home. We can come out and take a peek at that and get you that information. So if you're thinking of selling, particularly this next year, it is a great time to do just that. Hey, thanks for watching our video blog today. If you're thinking about selling, we wanna talk with you. Have a great day.